Hopefully the live stream is kicking in. Good, 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 good. Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today is October 22nd, 2020, and we're doing a math tutoring session. Number 61, as far as I can keep count from when we started this stuff. Let's do a little mathematics gang, and we've done a few of these over the years, over the last three years, I guess, or two years maybe, I don't know, I can't remember now. Um, but uh, they tend to be pretty good, uh, a lot of fun, a lot of mathematics, talking about education, talking about whatever really comes up. It is an open discussion, but mathematics supersedes everything else. Okay, so whatever we're talking about, if math, a math question comes up or someone wants to talk about a certain concept of mathematics, uh, we'll dive right into it. Okay, aside from that, uh, let me give you my little intro uh, while we wait for notifications to go out. If you want to know what this is all about, I am on Patreon, patreon.com uh, forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. I don't put anything beyond paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. If you want to know what this is all about, you can follow the work there. And after checking out what it is that we are doing, if you think... You have the means to support this project uh, through patreon then it's a fantastic way to make sure that we continue to do what it is that we are doing we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat when people start popping up popping in uh twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who've been supporting this work through twitch through subscribing through following thank you very much for being here allah god how are you doing how is your mongolian grill and uh, for those of you who've been uh, supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support uh there's a few there that, that have been there from day one when i set up the patreon page and uh i appreciate it very much it is in large part because of what you have done what you are doing that we are able to continue this work we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gab and twitter okay and if you want to follow the work on those platforms uh, the content that we're sharing the links will be in the description of this video and it is available on our twitch page if you go to our uh, twitch channel no matter if we're live streaming or not uh totally sold out of chicken on the constant <laughs> i got a serious craving for sweet and sour not man spicy sweet and sour with rice <laughs> um you can go to our twitch page and um irrelevant if we're live streaming or uh not and go to our chat and just type in exclamation mark social and it'll give you all of our social links for live streams, we don't have any visuals, which we do today because it's uh, mathematics. Uh, for the live streams, we're just doing open discussion, talking about whatever it is that we're going to, you know, we end up talking about. We do upload the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho learning balance. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Man, Slayer Rudy just so happens I was listening to system. Ha <laughs> ha. You weren't expecting Serge to come on to teach a little mathematics, were you? <laughs> All notifications sent. Awesome. Uh, oh, we got Mask of Raven. How are you doing? How is life? Chicho, what's up? Any snacks today? Yeah, I do. I got my... Uh, um, I went harvesting. I, I showed this yesterday, but um, autumn olives, right? So there's a... In our neighborhood, there's a autumn olive tree there's a couple of autumn olive trees actually one of them uh, the person that owns the property is very happy to have us come there and pick his autumn olives and he, he told me that it was only starlings and when i was picking he goes you come every year i go yeah i try to come every year he goes you and the starlings are the only ones that pick these berries right and i was like i go it's the starlings are pretty smart <laughs> because they know what to eat let's see if this is going to focus i don't know if you'll focus let's check it out there it is look at that look at the colors on that look at the spots on that right absolutely beautiful it is a beautiful um autumn olive they call it autumn olive but it's 
it's more of a sort of a cherry i guess but it's tart okay and all you do you just pick this on ah oh, cactus thank you very much for the twitch prime sub i'm gonna boop what kind of emote did we get <laughs> nice emote <laughs> so these things it's tart it's got lots of vitamin c and i pick every year every year i try go and pick a whole bunch and we put we put it in the fridge and it lasts for a few weeks and all you do is just take it like this and go super delicious man look so good I tried making jam with these one year and uh, it didn't work out it was all seed so we just eat them raw now put them in our cereals and whatnot okay uh, twitching Jason I was about to start studying here but I think watching this counts right uh, yeah, it does indeed twitching Jason no I wasn't uh, how are you Chicho? um nice layer doing good doing good doing good thank you uh, do that they look a bit like uh, cloud berries in Scandinavia I don't know what cloud berries are they're very prolific they're like all over the place in North America and very few people eat them I don't know why they're just amazing they're like a superfood right indeed all the gods um ask raven zach how are you doing zach the rubber chicho how are you doing how's chat i'm driving but i'll be listening leaving the dispensary nice nice awesome awesome i'll show you guys my harvest this year once i get a chance uh drive careful the welsh dragon accidentally clicked on the stream and could hear you talking and thought there was someone in my room hiding heart is pounding you should call uh, ripper over he'll calm you down <laughs> he just came from the uh from a place diet dog. i was told they'll make you sick when i was a kid really um no I've been eating a lot of them over the last few years. They haven't made me sick yet. Uh, they're quite delicious. Quite delicious. Hello, crafter. How are you doing? How is life? And we will be uploading this video to BitChute and YouTube. Okay. And if you want to support this work through BitChute and YouTube, you can support this work by um, following, by sharing, by commenting, by share, by um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, subscribing and if I'm, you're on YouTube you can join YouTube membership and for those of you who've been joining through YouTube membership thank you very much for the support life is very monotone crafter for many people uh, I you know there right now a lot of people I'm gonna take these guys down a lot of people are uh, having a hard time dealing with the with the loneliness loneliness kills gang right especially the elderly a lot of people uh, a lot of the elderly are quite lonely right now because they're isolated um, as a society as as human beings as people as as entities that we are continuously on the learning path and one way we learn is to know about history and know try to understand what is coming for us and that is an interaction with our elders so we have to take care of our elders Malag Malagras, thank you very much for the bits a crafter following classes online doing work for school online and then just doing stuff online for fun yeah crafter gang if you're if you're doing that which is basically a lot of people I'm doing that as well of course right make sure you're staying physically active right like move around uh, that's one one of the reasons having plants in the house is good because they need taken care of so you have to get off your ass right get off from in front of the computer and go take care of them you know take pick up the dead leaves give them water talk to them love them you have a living creature inside your house or multiple living creatures inside your house and they get you interacting right uh, pets do the same thing right a lot of people they wouldn't get any exercise if they didn't have a dog to take for a walk right during the during this whole lockdown thing what i've uh, what i've heard in certain places uh only only if you were walking a dog you were allowed to be outside in certain parts 
right i think uh, in russia for a short period it was like that and uh, uh people were borrowing their neighbor's dog to go to take him for a walk because they needed to go outside and go for a walk right so manage your life don't get bogged down right tanking how are you doing i have started a coffee morning started a coffee morning against government guidelines <laughs> hilarious mask of raven elder god please keep so everyone safe and take precautions uh I've been getting worse lately yeah mask of raven in some places for sure for sure where's the worst country in europe i i don't know Polit let's keep politics on politics stream gang um politics let's see for a little thing yeah so we got a little command that we can do we go exclamation mark politics and you know our bot comes on and says please please keep politics and other heavy subjects to their perspective streams i know i sort of instigates instigate them to a certain degree but my apologies red red low red low mitts solid advice man and everyone right uh i meant as in cases but i'm not <laughs> talking about it anymore crafter <laughs> good 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 i thought you i thought you meant what's the worst country in europe i'm like oh my god that's like serious question serious business and i don't th i don't know it all depends on your lifestyle i guess as far as cases goes i don't know i stopped following the numbers you know we were doing it for mathematics we were following the numbers for a long time but you know they just stopped making sense anymore right so we stopped collecting the data the experiment was flawed we got enough to do a little mathematics on them regarding regards to exponential growth at some point we'll put our modules together and create word problems based on the data set we collected good enough for us right i no longer believe the case is bs yeah think bob or chicho imagine the mathematics involved at the atomic level with regards to higher consciousness and entheogens a ding bobber yes and the reason i'm saying yes is because i have tried to imagine it <laughs> and i can honestly tell you um we're we're coming out of the dark ages right now like gang because this is related to education i'll just mention this i i'm on the same mindset as robert anton wilson because during an interview that Robert Anton Wilson gave, I don't know when it was, maybe late 90s or early 2000s, uh, mid 2000s maybe, I forget when it was. No, it must have been earlier, mid 2000s. Uh, I think it was late 1990s. Where he gave an interview, he said, it was like a seven hour interview. <laughs> it was huge, right? And I've listened to it multiple times. And during that interview, and he, there's video interviews of him as well saying this, I believe. He basically said that, as a society as a as a civilization we are just coming out of the dark ages because a lot of control mechanisms are collapsing right a lot of prohibitions are disappearing so people are exploring consciousness of what it means to be alive to be human uh exploring science mathematics the information is flowing at, a, at an incredible speed speed right now nothing like we've ever seen before or that we know that you know according to recorded history you know civilization has been around according to graham hancock for a lot longer and a few other people and a lot of other people uh, i'm on the same mindset as that that civilization has been around for a long time but as far as we know that we are aware of this is the fastest that information has traveled across across the globe and so much of it at the same time we are just coming out of the dark ages we are in a renaissance right now and one of the driving mechanisms for this renaissance for the sharing of information is mathematics because that is the driving force behind it and to understand what is happening around the world what is happening in our lives in regards to consciousness on the subatomic level or macro or micro level or however way you want to look at it you need the language of mathematics to be able to do that right hence these live streams mit 
red i'm gonna call you red brother or sister of course i hope that's okay agree numbers become crazy gave up following for a while think in the uk here we managed like 25 26 000 plus yesterday 26 000 positive that's what they were reporting red boo <laughs> what does that mean right let's do math and true capacity my prime minister <laughs> confused about what the fool means that's my politics done Oh my God. hilarious by the way the other snack i have too uh the other snack i have to crack him me up uh elder god mentioned uh we thought the, the discussion of scotland has come up a little bit so i got myself some cookies like these are like butter cookies or something they're just bought but they're very i didn't make these okay and they're uh they just have flour sugar that's basically it like that's all they got right uh, a couple other things right so they're very they're generic but you know they're not they're as far as junk food goes this is on the healthier part of the spectrum if you're looking at a really bad for you really good for you i guess this would be in the middle it's not horrendous for you right it's not mcdonald's it's you know generic cookies so i got these two as a snack figured i'll show you that too we came out of the dark ages to encounter our new leaders um uh, ripper we came out of the dark ages and discovered uh how the world is governed and uh what are we going to do about it ding bobber enjoy the ranch each show dark ages for sure but what comes after the dark ages we're in we're in the renaissance right now what comes after the dark ages is usually huge disruptive innovation that propels us into the next stage of civilization next stage of growth if you've studied uh, uh you know evolution and stuff like this evolution is not linear right evolution doesn't occur like this uh red works for me no uh no look tasty yeah the cookies are tasty too so evolution doesn't occur like this right so here's time you know here's time here's evolution 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 right evolution doesn't start off with you know us being wherever you want to start the scale right us not even being existing at the beginning of time so beginning of time there was no life right if we're going to go like this if we're going to call this beginning of the universe right big bang right the great kabuyi right no life energy from somewhere point source right within a few milliseconds all of a sudden matter forms we don't know what happens during those first milliseconds matter forms universe expands matter matters being created well not matters being created but uh matter is created and then they're they're merging together and all growing growing stars come together and stuff like this nuclear fusion fission whatever happens part heavy metals are made and bah, 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 supernovas explode and these heavy metals go all over the place and at some point we get life right here's no life no life here's life right life now life didn't occur from a particle of carbon slowly turning into life it just occurs we don't know right this there's still lots of questions there right but let's say we have life evolution is not like this right it's not like this and by the way this would be exaggerated this would be 14.5 billion years and then this would be like 0.5 billion years right so this is not a linear scale either right if we're going to do linear scale we'll just uh, it would be like this here's here's universe no life no life as far as we know and then life <laughs> right it's just it should be a blip right but for us to be able to visualize it let's say we're like this right so evolution does not occur here where we're standing here man right that's not how evolution occurs evolution also doesn't occur like this it doesn't go exponential like this okay there's man it, it doesn't evolution occurs like this let's try a different color pen evolution occurs in steps they're 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 made up of these things like this 
but it goes more along the lines of step, step, maybe exponential, st oh, step, step, like it's just, it's stepwise, right? God, am I doing this properly here? <laughs> Let's do it like that. <laughs> I don't know what those ones are, right? But that's basically how evolution happens. Okay. So I have no idea how I got onto this, but it is what it is. It gave me opportunity to make a graph, do a little mathematics, right? Uh, so dark ages. So we're about to, that's how we got into it. We're about to see a huge burst in consciousness. And we are witnessing it right now. Okay, really. I love butter cookies. Butter cookies, that's what these are. Butter cookies. Yeah, super good. Yum, yum. <laughs> Man Slayer. They're crazy addictive. They're crazy addictive cycles and we are at the end of one yeah and things occur in cycles and within these things within if we zoom in let's assume assume we zoom into a little part here bring it up here right within this thing there are cycles and the cycles here occur there's long wavelengths short wavelength within each cycle there's additional cycles right And this occurs on an economic front, on a, on a, on a, a biology, chemistry, the politics. Like it occurs on every level, right? Red, thank you very much for a Twitch Prime sub. Okay, it occurs on every every level, and our lifespans can be maybe this much of it, or could be this much of it, and it's up to us which wave we want to ride, right? It's, it's just the way it is that's why mathematics is crazy important because it allows us to interpret cycles and this stuff kicks into trigonometry like trig trig is this is cycles right so if you're going to graph f of x a function of sine theta sine theta and music has this too like everything cycles everything right apologies of the camera focusing not focusing uh, it, it is what it is right but it but a sine function looks like this negative one here's one cycle uh 360 degrees or two pi or one cycle right one cycle goes like this dook, dook, dook. Dook, 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 dook. There you go. If you understand this function, you can understand many aspects of life. Okay. Many aspects of life. Do you believe something comes from nothing? Do I believe something comes from nothing? Uh, I don't believe there is nothing. Like zero point space. According to, you know, take a, take zero, is it zero point or zero space or whatever it's called, where take a complete vacuum, right? Take a square meter of vacuum. Now, is that completely empty of anything? Well, there's space in there. So I don't believe there is, there is nothing. Nothing, nothing is the opposite of infinity to a certain degree, right? So absolute like just try to like this is one thing human beings try to do they try to clear their minds right there are yogis sitting in the mountains and the himalayas for 40 years trying to clear their mind so their mind doesn't think about anything right try doing that one day right it it, it is virtually impossible to stop the machine from processing right to thinking right when 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 we say there's nothing there's a unit has to be attached to that. There is no absolute nothing, right? How much money do you have? Oh, I have no money. Okay, so you have zero money, right? But zero anything, thought, matter, time, space, what does that mean, right? So when you say, do you believe something comes from nothing? I don't believe in nothing, right? Dairy is more addictive than cocaine. <laughs> oh my God, says. I've read long time lurker. Not sure why 
I've not used this sooner, brother. It's it's okay, Red. Thank you very much for using it now. I appreciate the uh, prime sub. Uh, Ding Baba Chicho. I heard humans run on a 90 day cycle, and so I had an idea to journey every day for like a year to find the cycles and understand myself more. Maybe Ding Baba, but the problem with journeying, if you're journeying, you're exposing yourself to other cycles. If you want to understand yourself more based on a 90 day cycle, the ideal thing would be don't change your surroundings get into a routine and document that routine without introducing external cycles into your life right so if you're traveling i don't know you know the noise factor will will be a lot right hey chicho eduardo how are you doing music has a time signature so does our lives yeah dollar god well said and eduardo thank you for linking up so much music on our discord fantastic spider-man how are you doing raptor ment chicho yes i'm saying absolute nothing i don't believe in absolute nothing what does that mean absolute nothing really what according to the big bang right everything and matter in the universe right now came from a point source but we really don't know what that point source is Right. Even science doesn't. It it says it it's expanding. Uh, it came from somewhere. It all has. Uh, we're all connected, right? And all this, but science hasn't come up with the concept of absolute nothing, Raptor. There, and as far as I know, there isn't. Elder God, I can confirm that. Well, mine is sixty-eight days. Touching Jason, zero and null are two different things in programming yeah yeah well said twitching jason by the way i said journal not journey oh jur journal <laughs> oh my god <laughs> sorry ding bobber yeah journal perfect my apologies if i read anything wrong gang please correct me thank you ding bobber so if you're going to keep a journal for a year uh to f see what your 90 day cycle is like fantastic yeah 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 that's the way to go for sure for sure and let us know how it works out starsky yo chicho how's it going I'm doing good brother thank you very much your beer is looking very nice thank you <laughs> i like it raptor raptorment that means universe must have a beginning and it cannot come from nothing so that something which created the universe can be called the creator the first cause do you want to call it the creator okay up to you i i call it i don't know <laughs> like <laughs> so from now on if someone asks me a question that i don't know i'm gonna say the creator right is that how we're gonna define it if we don't know something are we gonna call it the creator but that's what a lot of hu human history civilization has done previously right sometimes they called it magic right science fiction stories have written i don't know i don't know how many stories about this where a primitive civilization is living somewhere and someone flies in right or they glide in and everyone's like oh this must be the god because we didn't know right they don't know how this is done so they must be the creator they must be god is that the mentality want to go there's a movie that did that it was called time warp or something like this there's a motorbike guy riding a dirt bike and time travels into the cowboy times <laughs> he's got a lighter he's got an engine he starts looking for oil trying to get back it was hilarious it was a good movie fun movie jan james bond intergalactic space has about 10 to 10 to the 10 to 100 atoms per cubic uh, meter so in space even when there is nothing there is something 100 percent, right like i don't know like has anyone ever created a cubic meter of absolute nothing you suck out all the air create a vacuum does that mean there's nothing there no it doesn't there's something there true zero is death to me true zero is death to me all the time that's <laughs> something cannot comprehend nothing yeah 
to be able to uh, interpret understand the box we live in we have to look at it from outside the box now how do you escape the box of physical matter material you have to become disconnected from the material this sort of connects up to what we did yesterday right hmm. so is it absolute zero mm, no this is great the unwanted gamer you too can you explain to me the process of Pythagorean theorem sure let's do it Pythagorean I don't know if I can explain to you the process of Pythagorean theorem I can explain to you Pythagorean theorem um how did he drive it I'm not 100% sure how they drove like how Pythagorean uh, came up with it uh, I've never I'm pretty sure I looked at the proof before so we got Pythagorean going on I'm gonna catch up with chat now that we got a little bit of mathematics going on or more mathematics going on I'm going insane another movie I have waited seven years uh, for has been delayed oh no Chicho is which movie Elder God a uh, Dune Chicho is logical isn't it else we will have the problem infinite regress uh, infinite regress I'm not sure what you mean by infinite regress think about Chicho what about all the space Wh um, whatever it is has a quality to it emptiness silence stillness yeah good point thing bobber this uh contemplation of true true zero null absence of something has a ton of philosophical implications as well yeah twitching saint jason i looked into this a long time ago um a long time ago and uh, i came to make peace with it james bond the light is passing through the nothingness so it is it will always have something in it yeah i never thought surge was so good at mathematics <laughs> i should start i should start memorizing some of the or re-memorize some of the system of now lyrics right let's do pythagorean theorem right pythagorean theorem states the following right like literally it just states the following if you have a right angle triangle and it has to be a right angle triangle right so let's draw a right angle triangle and these this and this don't have to be the same length let me change it up so they aren't necessarily the same length right so let's draw a triangle here's a triangle and my drawings are never to scale right never to scale the disclaimer infinite regress means nothing creating something else infinitely that's nothing creating something something else infinitely i don't know that's a serious philosophical question i guess more physics than math but check out how black holes are starting to be seen as the engines of the universe yeah consuming matter uh, ejecting matter consuming more ejecting rise repeat rinse repeat yeah yeah so rap rap torment look into that the unwanted gamer thank you very much for the bits i love this that theorem pythagorean theorem yeah for sure i hope so is that the one you're talking about but pythagorean theorem says this if you have a right angle triangle and a right angle triangle means this angle is 90 degrees which means that this line is perpendicular to this line right so this line the slope of this line is 90 degrees perpendicular to this line okay is that clear and that has its own implications that we can get into so if you have a right angle triangle and if you call this side a okay and if you call this side b and if you call this side c in mathematics you're always trying to find relationship between different unknowns right different properties different elements different things right like look around you we try to fit an equation to almost everything because we're trying to understand that system and this is a system what is the system It's a right angle triangle right so we're trying to understand this right angle triangle when we're trying to understand this right angle triangle we're trying to find out is there a relationship between this side that side and that side well pythagorean came up with their theorem right their proof and you can do this that says this 
This is the formula they came up with. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Okay. So if you, the value, if you square the value of this, whatever that value might be, and if you square the value of this, whatever that value might be, if you're on a right angle triangle, the sum of that equals to the length of this squared. Okay. No, that Camelot, that's a French movie. Boop, allow. Boop. I'm not sure why Automat zapped that uh, um, James Bond. All right. Let's do an example. Here, here's an example. Let's assume, example. Okay. Let's assume the first length here. Let's draw a little triangle here. Right. I'm going to call this 90 degrees. Okay. Let's assume this side is 3 and this side is 4. And I want you to find C. Right? Let's make sure this thing focuses. I want you to find C. The way you do this is follow Pythagorean theorem. Right? Because if this is a right angle triangle, and it is because I told you it was a right angle triangle, right? I gave you three pieces of information in this triangle for you to be able to find this. Right? A triangle has six pieces of information in it. Okay? Don't forget this. It's got three sides, right? And three angles so angle let's call this angle b and let's call this angle uh, angle a and let's call this angle c okay let's call make it capital letter a okay and the reason i'm calling this angle b because angle b controls side b right they're related okay so if you want to find side C, because this is a right angle triangle, you can follow Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem says this squared plus this squared equals that squared. So you just put in the numbers. So what you can do is say 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to C squared. 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 is equal to C squared. 9 plus 16 is 25 is equal to C squared. And if you're trying to solve for C, it's C squared, so you square root both sides. So you square root this side, you square root this side, you find out C is equal to 5. So the length of this side is 5. Okay. Does that make sense? Catholic tradition, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub, right? Now, check this out. Okay. Let's look at this visually. Yeah, I'll draw it down here. I'll do it in blue. Okay. After you die, it's nothing. Humans have a tendency to search for a higher and good, uh, good, pretty answer to problems. But in reality, the answer might not be what you think they are. And there is a high chance you won't like them. Uh, EL001. We could change, we should change your, your sentence or your comment and say, after you die, there might be nothing right use Robert Anton's maybe logic because unless you've come back from the dead you can't say absolutely that there's nothing after when you die right so maybe logic says Robert Anton's maybe logic states that as human beings we shouldn't be so absolute into thinking that we know everything right so you should use maybe in your statements so after you die maybe there's nothing Humans have a tendency to search for a higher, higher and good, pretty answer to problems. But in reality, the answer might not be what you you think they are. And there is a high chance you won't like them. There may be a high chance that you might not like your answer. By the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Here's the other thing that the Pythagorean theorem says, right? Let's, before we get into the understanding of it, let me ask you this. Let's assume we have a rectangle, right? Let's call this length A and call this length B. What's the area of this rectangle? I'm with the nothing reality, Elder God says, at least for the average person. <laughs> right? <laughs> Crack me up. So this is a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is length times width, A times B, right? So the area area of this is a times b right 
Here, let me write that bigger so it shows. So area of this is A times B. Area, area is equal to A times B, right? Now, what if I drew you a square where the length A and B are the same, right? So I'm going to make this a square, right? I'm going to call this A, and I'm going to say this length is the same as that length is the same as that length is the same as that length. Then the area of this is A times A, because this length is also A, because they're the same length. So area is equal to A times A, which is equal to A squared. A squared, A squared, ah, so if that's A squared and that's A squared, this is just the area of a square, right? If this is the area of a square, then this is the area of a square with side length of A, right? So what the Pythagorean theorem is really telling you is this. If you have a right angle triangle, right? if you have a right angle triangle side A, side B, and side C, and this has to be a right angle triangle, then A squared is the equivalent of you drawing a square and saying this length is equal to this length, this is equal to this length, this is equal to this length, and that would be A. So this is A squared. It's the area of a square made with the side length of A, right? B squared is the same. This is B squared. Oops. This is B squared, right? B, so all of these are the same. So B times B, so this is B squared. B squared. And C squared is the same. Let's make a square with side length of C. C squared is the same, right? So this is the same as the same as the same as this. And this is C, so C, C times C is C squared. What is the Pythagorean theorem telling you? It's telling you if you have a right angle triangle, then the square that is made by this length and the square that is made by this length is equal to the area made by the hypotenuse, which is the side that they refer to that is across from the 90 degree angle. Okay. I hope that clears up, uh, you know, what you wanted to know about the Pythagorean theorem. If you have any questions about it, let us know. There's no proof. There's nothing. As a person who believes in God, I'd like to think there is something after that. Yeah, like the people who say there's nothing, like come out and say, absolutely, there's nothing after life. I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, how could you be so absolute about your ignorance, right? Because it is pure ignorance. And you can take it on the same level. Those people who say there, there has to be something, well, no, we don't know, right? Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I'm on the mindset that there we're not just this matter i think there's more to life than just 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 these fingers and this right uh, uh, there's a lot more okay uh fan james bond exactly normally the movie would have been released in cinema the 23rd of november oh which movie is this which movie did I... oh i missed which movie uh, Kuru91 got to give it to you man ASMR sends tickles to your body but you took it to a whole new level when I saw that math tutoring session title it sent chills down my spine <laughs> awesome Inanor Inanor a cool name nice spelling by the way Chicho I enjoyed meditating and math I am just having a tough start where to start uh, combining both? Uh, or do you have anything I can wrap my head around while meditating? Um, you know what, Inanor? Look into our 10 by 10 math puzzle. It's, to me, it's, it's, it's one of the pure meditative things like with mathematics. Uh, also, um, trig identities are really just brilliant. This problem solving and your trying to bring pieces together trig identities right uh really I, I didn't have an appreciation for trig identities when i was in high school studying that stuff when i started teaching it oh man 
the beauty and the meditative feel of trigger identities was brilliant but if you want we do have let's see 10 by we haven't done the 10 by 10 puzzle for a long time we have a 10 by 10 puzzle and if you do chicho 10 by 10 puzzle videos will come up where we play a 10 by 10 game and that is very meditative for me as well i haven't done it for a while but it's really meditative uh, i would highly recommend that as well my movie is krish for a bollywood movie <laughs> elder god nice but i love french cinema as well yeah french cinema my movie nomination is french nice oh yeah that's right the wolf one life after death might be a hell or worse double one triple double one man slayer well i understand laugh about unwanted gamer do you play games at all uh, i i have in the past I just did a whole bunch of we did three live streams um, six hours worth of uh, more than six hours worth of me showing you guys my gaming collection from you know beginning of late 1970s I guess so I have gone through periods where I game a lot and at some point I will get back into it I'm just loving the state I am right now with everything we're doing right now with mathematics with cooking with comic books and stuff i just haven't had the time to slip into gaming i will at some point for sure that's camelot there's a movie camelot coming out oh god chicho we are star stuff we are star stuff carl sagan but our consciousness is another matter in my opinion yeah i think our consciousness animates our star stuff personally kathy children is chicho Eonor topology is an area of mathematics that is rich with possibilities for contemplation and meditation and that's some place i haven't gone into yet topology my mathematics i have to improve my mathematics as bruce lee say, would say what's your style what how's it go elder god it says my style my stuff there's a, there's a movie i think it's called the, the, the one person comes up to bruce lee i think it's enter the dragon comes up to bruce lee and says what's your style bruce lee says my style my style is a fight of a, a art of fighting without fighting <laughs> something along those lines i am now on your discord also right on man slayer we got some great info being shared on discord by the way you know okay thanks I'll give it a look before my next uh, session. Awesome, awesome. So you cap says you are true French. Can water style? Never mind. The art of fighting without fighting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the quote from Bruce Lee. My style is the art of fighting without fighting. <laughs> I'm sorry about the accent. <laughs> that's that's more of a Shaw Brothers accent that came out. Which isn't even really Shaw Brothers because all of that is subtitles on it's in uh, Cantonese, you ma uh, Mandarin, Mandarin, right? Enter the Dragon, Enter the Dragon. Bruce Lee made five and a half movies, if I recall correctly, right? Uh, the Game of Death, he died halfway through and they put in a body double. The X sounds so good. <laughs> What's your favorite math lesson to teach? Um, it depends on the students. I, I like talking about all of them like I love talking about Pythagorean if the person wants to learn Pythagorean I love talking about the real number set if they want to learn about the real number set I love talking about logs I love talking about trig I love talking about completing a square graph and parabolas it really depends on the engagement of the students right teaching to an empty room is not the same as teaching to someone right what's the real number set the real number set is uh, the natural numbers and um, natural numbers we could talk about that uh, poor defender 13 pythagoras used math to purify his soul as did his pythagoreans in what is now central italy in ancient times the most virtuous souls went to olympus to serve the gods and when they were dismissed they spent time in Elysian fields um, Epictetus late wrote uh, that life was a test to reward those who chose choose love over other passions cool 
they had all they also had some crazy beliefs as well pythagoras i believe right uh catholic tradition is quote the art of fighting without fighting lee was definitely channeling su sun su when he said that yeah bruce lee movies are a brilliant game you've never if you've never sat down and watched a bruce lee movie there's five and a half you need to watch <laughs> and do it there must actually we should start recommending some bruce lee movies in uh, our movie streams help me with my homework sean what do you need help with let's talk about the uh, real number set i hope that was clear enough for pythagorean theorem The real number set is basically us human beings going through evolution trying to understand what life is really trying to understand the world around us right initially when as we're evolving i know a story about einstein is it a good story there's a lot of stories about einstein right so think about it this way right ask yourself ask yourself the following question how did languages come to be written languages right even verbal languages where did language come to be right for us we're talking about specifically written languages right because you have to think about mathematics as a language algebra 2 i keep missing up messing up the positive and negatives positive is negative how so we can talk about here we'll get into the positives negatives sean um music line yeah there are different languages all over the place right music some people a lot of people consider music to be a language on its own right uh mathematics to me is a language and to many other people is a language written languages right english whatever language you speak right these languages evolved right they didn't all of a sudden become a language right either verbal or written they had to be developed right and the reason languages have come to be is because as human beings we reached a certain level in our lives where we had to specifically for written languages document things right because in the past before written languages we passed on information from one generation to the next by telling stories right sean dividing and multiplying them and my teacher moves so fast it's online sean will will do the um we'll talk about it okay i hope you have a little bit of time right uh do you have about half an hour to stick around we'll get to it in about 15 minutes and i'll explain it to you okay mathematics is the only language humans would use to communicate with aliens some people say yeah, music is is one that's going to be but i agree with you starsky mathematics is going to be it right uh oh this is einstein's story okay let's read einstein's story before we continue a kid came one day and asked quote do you believe in God? Einstein didn't say yes or no right now and asked the kid his address. A few days after the kid received the letter which Einstein wrote that, quote, anyone who is seriously involved in science will come to understand that a spirit manifests itself in the laws of the universe. A spirit immersed, um, immersely, uh, immensely superior to that of man, end quote. Possibly, right? That's Einstein's belief on it right remember einstein was not a seer einstein was not um, correct in all of his beliefs right einstein didn't believe it, believe in quantum mechanics because he didn't believe in probabilities on that scale right his famous quote is uh he, he couldn't comprehend that god could roll the dice right uh, some paraphrasing of course right so uh true the more you understand like the code the meat of it is 100 percent. i agree with it right the more you know the more you realize how little you know right that's the beauty of education that's the beauty of science that's the beauty of mathematics the more you look into things the more you realize how little we know right that's why it connects up with robert anton's maybe logic right saying absolute statement is and i do it myself as well right i haven't reached that nirvana yet right where i say maybe all the time it doesn't work robert anton wilson i believe wrote a book just using maybes no absolute statements right but that connects up with robert anton wilson's maybe logic the more you know the more you realize that there are no absolutes everything is a maybe right 
okay awesome Sean we'll deal with it I love the story when if that false uh, I found that wonderful that he asked a question to him to answer to a kid he didn't know cool so uh, real number set is an evolution right so just imagine human beings we're evolving right we're trying to learn about the world around us right if we're telling stories when it comes to tribes we don't want these stories to be lost so we come up with a written language an alphabet to document these stories and make scrolls where people can read them and whatnot right we come up with mathematics to be able to keep track of this language that we've come up with to be able to understand analyze the world because as we came up with these axioms of mathematics there's five axioms that all of mathematics is built on right which is just a distributed property and whatnot right then the laws of mathematics adding subtracting multiplying dividing then once we started building stuff up we realized that's a pretty powerful language so we we have to basically start defining it better right what is your view chicho what is your view on crypto cryptography uh, game or real stuff people try to hide um what do you mean my views on cryptography like privacy uh surveillance uh privacy by design starsky chicho what about finding the equilibrium in a supply and demand curve two questions for this ba -ba okay let me write this down and then we'll deal with it or can you bring this up again uh, write down these equations uh, ch -ch -ch. equations um, after we do the real number set did anyone here put that beer quote on discord <laughs> uh, Catholic is an old adage quote ipsi se nila seria <laughs> I only know that I know nothing. I only know that I know nothing. Yeah, right. or very little. So check this out. Real number set. Human evolution. When we start trying to understand the world around us, right? We came up with what's count, what's called counting numbers, right? So let's assume we come up with number one, two, three, dot dot dot, right? That's the way we're understanding the world or communicating with each other if we're the example i use we have i have videos on this on the real number set this i think the third video i ever put out regarding mathematics and i put that in 2007 right like 13 years ago if you go chicho real number set right you should find the it's a two-parter video on youtube part one and part two and i put out in 2007 which is i'm going to give you a quick version of that right so us human beings we're trying to communicate to each other and try to figure certain things out right so just imagine a vill village of sheep herders where one person is talking to another person trying to understand who has more sheep so they give the values what's called counting numbers i might have five sheep you have six sheep you have more sheep than i have sheep right so as simple as that right we call that the natural numbers right and then what happened is so this is the box we lived in right so this was our world natural numbers sheep herders right and then in that village one day you had someone come to your village right and start interacting with people let's say in a tavern where all the sheep herders are gathering and having their nightly drink and talking about their sheep you know oh one of their sheeps had a baby sheep now they have one more sheep right oh now they have you have seven sheep because you just one of your sheeps had a sheep right and then some joe below comes along into the tavern and sits down and they go hey who's this joe below did they just move over our village and they go, oh, i don't know let's ask him he goes they go how many sheep do you have and the guy says i have zero sheep i have no sheep that was an introduction of a new number to the language of mathematics for humanity right and because that was an introduction of a new number and with that new number came certain properties of mathematics certain properties of the world around us that baffled us and because of that because this boundary from the natural numbers n to what we call 
the new number set which includes the natural numbers but it's an expansion of our universe our understanding of the world that's set zero one two three dot 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 we call whole numbers okay so whole numbers which includes natural numbers because what we knew before is not null and void it's an expansion of what we knew before right so because it's an expansion of what we knew before we call it whole numbers and create a new box right and we say okay here is more information our world just expanded cool and by the way if you want to know what zero introduced into our lives it's huge it introduced an impossibility into the universe that we were looking at because you cannot divide by zero this is undefined right it just introduced something that blew our minds right the universe just exploded right hence a bigger box that includes what we know but more so right and then everyone slowly began to grasp what this meant right who this person was you know they didn't have any sheep maybe they were a, i don't know what were they blacksmith they made horseshoes right now just imagine a year later in our case maybe a few hundred years later if we're talking about mathematics right some other joe below walks into the tavern and everyone's drinking it up with you know the sheep herders and the one blacksmith that they have that doesn't have any sheep and this new person sits down there and oh who is this guy is he a blacksmith or is he a sheep herder and they go hey listen uh, how many sheep do you have he goes oh i don't have any sheep they go oh he must be a blacksmith he goes no i'm not a blacksmith right i'm a merchant right and i'm looking to buy sheep i have sheep that i owe people right i promise people that i'm going to be selling them right i've already collected the money for it now i have to deliver it so in my ledger system as an accountant i have a negative that i have to fill right all of a sudden the concept of negative numbers were introduced into our lives right our universe expanded what negative numbers right negative numbers what does that mean he wants to buy two sheep he's got negative two sheep then he has to fit. what so all of a sudden you got dot 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 negative two negative one zero one two dot 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 and because our universe expanded right well we're going to come up with a new name for this and we called it integers right we call this thing integers and this is whole numbers why don't i write down the whole names for them that way you know what they are right so we call this whole numbers whole numbers these are natural numbers natural numbers and our universe just expanded cool wow and again what we knew before is not non, null and void right it's still there we just know more right we just know more excellent evolution we understand more of the universe fantastic and by the way the reason we put this in its own category because it was a step up in human evolution right because negative numbers introduced new things to our understanding of the world right they also created problems because we couldn't take the even root of negative numbers so you could go oh what's the square root of four where square root of four is two it's really plus and minus two but if we're talking about the real number set right now we're not going to worry about the negatives right if we can do something called the square root of a natural number of a whole number then let's try taking the square root of a negative number so what would the square root of negative two negative four be this created serious problems for us we didn't know 
right? And we have a whole bunch of series two of the language of mathematics and there's a lot of ASMR, some ASMR math videos we put on on regarding how to take roots of numbers that are deal with rationals. But this to us was what is going on, right? This brought about the word imaginary numbers and later on evolved into complex numbers, right? Cool. So now we're going through human evolution here. Remember this human evolution. Well, one day after let's say another year where people understood what merchants were the merchant would come back every season and try to buy more sheep right because he was selling them at another village right so everyone's sitting there during a time when the merchants there are all drinking it up the sheep herders talking about their sheep the blacksmith they're talking about how many horseshoes is made right and the merchants they're just saying oh i got myself some sheep that i need to buy right another person walks in and sits down at the bar and the people are like oh who's this dude they go up to him and go how many sheep they got they go oh i don't have any sheep they go oh then are you a blacksmith they go no 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 I don't, i'm not a buyer oh you must be looking for sheep right you must be a merchant how many sheep do you need do you need two five how many sheep do you need and he's like no no man i don't need a whole sheep i'm i'm just one person i want to feed my family right i need to buy a half a sheep right i don't know what to do with the whole sheep we don't have refrigerators we need to cut it up take that half a sheep and you know cure it cure it and do whatever they did during that time to have it available for them for the winter they're like half a sheep well, what do you mean half a sheep right half a sheep what is half a sheep well half a sheep in mathematics is rational numbers all of a sudden that introduces a new category into our lives which is fractions right so rational numbers the category above integers rational numbers the definition of rational numbers is numbers you can write as fractions of integers okay so human evolution now in school they tell people rational numbers are numbers that repeat or terminate and they it's true rational numbers are numbers that repeat or terminate right repeat or end but it's a crappy definition right the best definition of rational numbers is fractions of integers fractions of integers fractions of integers any number that you can write as a fraction of integers is called a rational number our universe expands cool we know more we know more we know more wow wow what can we do with all this information what can we do with all this information <laughs> my straight lines suck <laughs> right yeah very cool very cool very cool right very cool rational numbers includes integers it doesn't make these void or this void or this void includes integers includes whole numbers includes natural numbers but it's more it's fractions of integers so for example two is a natural number it's also a whole number it's also an integer but it's also a rational number because you can write two over one that's a fraction of integers one over two that's a fraction of integers 0 0.3 is the same thing as three over ten is a fraction of integers three over ten you can make it negative if you want right so any number that you can write as fraction of integers is a rational number. Now, in general, you try to write things in their lowest term, right? Lowest group category they belong to, because if they, something is a natural number, you already know that it's also a whole number, integer, and rational, right? So if I say what type of number is negative 2, you're going to go negative 2 is an integer. It's a rational number for sure, because you could write this as negative 2 over 1, right? but a lower category is integer right 
So you always bring things down to the lowest level. Okay. Now in mathematics, the beauty, one of the beautiful things about mathematics is it mirrors the real world, right? When there's light, there's dark. If there's good, there's bad. We have yes, we have no, right? If rational numbers are numbers you can write as fractions of integers, there's another category called irrational numbers that are numbers that you cannot write as fractions of integers. Our world expands, our world expands. So I'm gonna break this in half, and I'm gonna call this group here can I fit this in? Irrational numbers, write it sideways. <laughs> Writing it sideways is going to be hard, but let's do it. Irrational numbers. E. Oh man, so difficult. Irrational numbers. By oh, okay, I'm going to write it here. Irrational. Irrational. Did I? I don't. I don't even know if I spelled that correctly, right? Irrational numbers. What are these numbers? Numbers you cannot write. As fractions of integers numbers numbers you can not write as fractions of integers okay numbers you can't write as fractions of integers now the symbols for these for rational numbers in my part of the world is q i don't know why i think it's land or something in mathematics if you put if i say q means rational numbers right let's make sure this focus if i say q means rational numbers then in mathematics, if you put a line on top of a letter of a descriptive word, right, it means not Q. So irrational numbers, the symbol for that in my part of the world, you use Q with a line on top of it, right? So we call this Q with a line on top, and we call rational numbers just Q. Q. Some parts of the world, they call integer Z. Some parts of the world, they call it I. In my part of the world, we refer to it as I, okay? And the driving mechanism, right, behind, and this, this thing right here is called the real number set, right? And examples of irrational numbers are pi, square root of two, any root of a prime number, prime number, right? And this whole thing is called the real number set. Real number set. So what is the real number set? Real number set is human evolution. That's it, right? Really. It's talking about how information developed regarding our understanding of the universe in regards to mathematics okay that's what it is yeah my marker is on his last leg <laughs> i've gone through i have so many markers we've gone through i gotta get on and i gotta get online and buy a huge batch of markers because i go through these things like mad right i hope that's uh, clear and all of this the foundation of this is prime numbers the base of it right prime numbers okay and prime numbers are numbers that can only be divided or natural numbers we begin here natural numbers that can only be divided evenly by one in themselves okay i'm just going to read some of the chat just get caught up with chat just make sure i didn't mess anything up and if anybody has any questions or uh, if there's anything directed towards me please let me know gang um, 
I'm just going to scroll down. Uh, just Speedy Gonzalez style. Sheep distribution. Wow, your story is so cool. Awesome, fan James Bond. Imagine if you could just change realities, like changing game consoles. Although that would be a, a fake life. I'm not sure. Sheep's great in mathematics. <laughs> Macro. Hey, Chicho, I just had a trick test that I did not do particularly well on. Uh, you, you win some, you lose some, right? I had a question about instantaneous rate of change slope. Uh, and I used a series of average rates of change because calculus was not allowed. Oh, wow. Then uh, I then took the average. Oh, we got to do the negative numbers. Uh, sorry, um, I forgot who it was that asked it. Many intervals close to the point and got my approximate answer is right. Is this right? How did you, what did you do? I then took the average of many intervals close to the point and got my approximate. Yeah, as long as you took the averages from both sides, right? So if your point was here, then you took the averages from here, you took the numbers from there, there, and there, right? So take numbers from even the same amount of numbers from either side. Uh, negative numbers, gang. I'm going to stop reading. I just got to explain the negative number stuff. Uh, so for example, define k as the value which multiplied by 0 gives 1. Anything that's multiplied by 0 is 0. I'm sure this makes no sense. Otherwise, we really already have it like complex numbers. So uh, negative numbers. Here's the negative numbers, right? Integers introduce negative numbers. So I forget who it was that wanted this question. It was... I forget. A uh, Sean. Sean. Negative numbers are introduced to us when we start dealing with integers, right? And integers, all of a sudden, negative numbers, they created the problem where you can't take an even root of a negative number. Ah, oh, thanks, Earl of God. Uh, Sean question, thanks. Uh, it was um, negative, uh, you can take the even root of a negative number, right? So negative numbers started to introduce their own thing in mathematics. Because if you had, for example, two plus two that's equal to four right now it should be intuitive to say okay what's negative two plus negative two that would be negative four right two negatives if you're adding them right if you owe me two dollars and then you owe me another two dollars you owe me four dollars right so the adding and subtracting negatives started you know sort of made sense it became intuitive to a certain degree right because subtraction to minus two well this is zero right but you can think of two subtraction really just being another way of saying addi addition adding negative numbers right so two minus two was really two plus negative two which is zero right so 2 plus negative 2 is 0. Should make sense, right? Now, what you have to focus on here is this part here, the plus and the minus. Because what you have here is really positive times and negative. And once you started dealing with multiplication of negative numbers, things became a little bit more complicated, right? And that's where people have a hard time with it, right? Because the other stuff is just on a number line. Think of it as a number line, right? You got this, right? Here's your zero, one, two. Let's assume you're standing here, one, two. Here's you. What happens if you take four steps back or five steps back? You go one, two, three, four, five. Where are you at? Negative three. If you're standing at negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. If you're standing at negative 3 and you take three steps forward, 1, 2, 3, you're at 0. 
right? So negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 3. So that's the adding and subtracting numbers, right? Multiplication is a little different. With When it comes to multiplying negative numbers, think of it this way. And this is the way I teach my students, right? Think of English. When it comes to English, if I say I'm not not here, what does that mean? Right? That's a double negative. A double negative in English means a positive, makes it a positive. And that's the way it works when it comes to multiplying negative numbers. If you have an odd number of negative numbers multiplied together, it's negative. If you have an even number of negative numbers multiplied together, you get positive, right? So if I write down negative two times negative three, that's six. Because the negative and a negative becomes positive, and two times three is six. If I say negative two times negative three times four times two times three, and let's make that negative, what does that equal, right? We could just do the numbers. Don't worry about the negatives yet, right? You could go two times three is six, six times four is uh, 24. 24 times 2 is 48, and then 48 times 3, 48 times 3, 48 times 3, 4, 2, 12, 14, 144, right? So 48 times 3 is 144, 144, right? And then what you do is you go back to your multiplication and go, you had 1, 2, 3 negatives, Three negatives is an odd number of negatives multiplied together, so that makes it negative. So it's not 144, it's negative 144. If I add another negative number here, negative one, well, one, two, three, four negative mul numbers multiplied together, it makes it positive, okay? That's how you deal with the negative multiplication and stuff like that. What's the meaning of negative multiplication? In the sheep example I haven't taken it there what's the meaning of negative multiplication in the sheep example so negative 2 because we don't I haven't really with the real number set we're not really doing multiplication to a certain degree right because what I've done in the past that interest <laughs> possibly what I done in the past I did the real number set video and I used the real number set to explain uh, adding subtracting multiplying dividing and I overlaid exponents into the real number set as well right and in those videos in series um, series one and series two of the language of mathematics the videos we put on 2007 2008 uh, we go into this pretty deep talking about it but i never associate the multiplication of negative numbers to the sheep so what do you guys think what would it mean uh, in the sheep in the realm of the sheep what multiplying negative numbers would mean how would it apply in the real world interest maybe can you fit 56 into 15 sir wink wink 56 into 15. <laughs> is that what does that equal i don't know what that equals redeem highlight 56 can you fit 56 into 15. i can divide it let's do a division bro <laughs> hi that is age. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That must be a meme going around or something. Cool. So let's check this out. The answer is no, you can't. Oh, is that what you want? <laughs> you, uh, that's a straightforward way you're asking? Let's do the division. I want to take it more complicated. Okay, this guy's seen as N2. I'm going to kill this guy too. Let's try another pen. Let's try another pen. No, it's an. Oh, yeah, I don't do those kinds of jokes, man. To me, that's not a joke. That's a crime. And a crime like that needs to be dealt with. Right? 15. 56. How many times does 15 go into 56? 
and you can't put 15 into 5 so you move on to the next one right so 15 into 56 is 3 3 times 15 is 45 right do a little subtraction 6 minus 5 is 1 5 minus 4 is 1 so 15 divided 56 divided by 15 56 divided by 15 is 3 and 11 fifteenths that's the answer thanks elder god <laughs> thanks elder god bitstorm was correct the answer is no you can't good math good math math is the key math is the key right what was the other thing we were gonna look at time out time out is good uh, trick 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 uh, kind of wondering if this box could be expanded further now one that comes to mind is the division by zero thing could this be uh, expanded into a number space uh, possibly there are different uh, there are different number sets right the irasha there's tensors i believe tensors is something i looked in a uh, couple of decades ago more than a couple of decades ago I looked into that and went okay i'm not going to go there right people whose mathematics is more powerful than mine that are, they might still be here they would uh, uh they would know more about that right because this is just a real number set there are different types of number sets out there so and zero is it's its own beast right cryptography yeah just a broad view of it okay i gotta look at the crypt cryptography is just uh it, encryption really right it's security it's privacy it's to me that's what it is right uh, safe communication safe transfer of information safe a safe method of uh doing trade uh conducting business commerce uh information i see it as uh, patterns you see it as patterns I would have to delve into it a is probably a silly question but the notion of anything divided by zero is undefined watching you explain this uh, you do have you do have to wonder if that space could be defined and explored that's the gazillion dollar question uh, bitstorm what if we're able to come up with certain type of mathematics right maybe it's, it's a new language we come up with to try to understand what division by zero means what if at some point we're able to divide by zero and all of a sudden that spits us out into a new understanding of what the number set is or a new number set where there are, and there are by the way there are different uh, i'm trying to remember my calculus all things divided by zero are not the same right there are uh, different ways of divide dealing with a division by zero where you enter the realm of limits right uh, but that's some that's a place I looked into a long time ago sorry I was counting uh, until and I heard dealt with <laughs> how big of multiplication can you do in your head um 12 times 12 144 <laughs> 10 times anything add a zero a thousand times anything add three zeros right i'm not a calculator i i i do things manually right i do things manually 250 times two 500 woohoo rock and roll right nine times anything nine times anything nine times anything nine times zero to ten nine times three one two three nine times three is 27. nine times seven one two three four five six seven nine times seven is six oops 63 right nine times four one two three four nine times four is 36 nice trick 
is there a number you see a lot in real world well a lot of people say they see 11 a lot 11 is you know magic number some people say seven some people say 23 uh, I think we sort of manifest our own our own reality to a certain degree right so good autumn olives crazy delicious you know what I think you could make wine with this with autumn olives I don't know if there is I've made liqueur with this made autumn olive liqueur number six yeah some people say 33 what some people say number 33 appears a lot maybe these three guys so yummy this thing's so addictive number three number three is magic by the way look number three appears a lot like tripod is a very stable um structure right you see trigonometry um is three everywhere right what do you think of the number six 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 it's the flip of nine 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 it's a, it's it's a, it's a big deal in metal <laughs> metal music that's one of the uh, uh, premises of the German uh, Netflix show Dark, the number 33. Yeah, and the number 33 is related to, uh, you know, secret societies and stuff like this. And number 23 as well, of course. Rule of six, six months and six feet. <laughs> Logic man. Yeah, 666 is it's interesting. But, you can look one of the things you learn is uh you learn through the realm of fantasy uh, books a lot as well you can empower objects words thoughts um uh, with power right so you know if people want to give a certain number power it might have power over them rule of ones is quite interesting if you know that one ben first law i've heard about it i can't remember what it is exactly but storm top of my head should we empower numbers some people do right some people do 11 is huge right some people say if you see 11 11 some people say the most common number you see on a clock uh is 11 11. i don't know if that's true some people call it god's number i don't know why Oh, autumn olive jam. So toast, toast it in with baked goods. Yum. I, you, Cheryl, I tried to make autumn olive jam. It was like full of seeds. You, and when you ran it through the mill, you only got a little bit out. So it wasn't really worth it. Have you made autumn olive jam successfully? Or jelly, I guess? These days, the world of fiction has become a survival manual. Yeah, I think it, it has for a long time, Elder God right survival manual indeed 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 l u l w true there is no spoon <laughs> i see 9 11 on the clock most commonly without a without a doubt really uh, chaser chilton chaser 69 I would assume you see 69 more often than not according to your name but 9 11 a lot really cool bitstorm so from memory uh for many naturally occurring numbers about 30 percent of the time the oh that one yeah 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 the number will start with with a one ben Ford's law that's right they can use this uh to ca catch people faking data sets right and they have Ben Ford's law i believe it's 
even used to spot people faking tax return and tax returns as well and the Benford law is fantastic I didn't know about that until I read about it especially in regards to economics right and I looked at the reasoning behind it and it made sense at the time but I the reasonings I, I forgot about it from New York so I don't know if that's why it's messed up oh maybe yeah if you're from New York the 9-11 subconsciously because we have a human clock internal clock really and it's very good our internal clock is amazing you can fine-tune that thing to like within a minute you should be able to tell what time it is right any super uh, a super interesting makes no sense but you read it read and it starts to make some sort yeah I read it and it made sense but the the understanding of it didn't last that long right the reasoning was because um, the numbers from 100 uh, they appear more than the 200s and then the thousands so basically Benford's law says this if you have a data set number set right I need new felts like these things are dying I need to get new ones we've got math to do next week as well hopefully that's better is that better yeah that's better and Benford's law says this if this is frequency let's just call it F one two three four five six seven eight nine Benford law says this number one has a higher frequency I'm not sure what the rate is is it uh, is it half it I forget what it was maybe it follows some kind of relation to pi right then the frequency of the numbers what the numbers start with drops I'm pretty sure I took it down way too fast right <laughs> yeah I took it down way too fast so <laughs> let's assume is this hold on let me make this a little bit more realistic it would be like this right So if you had a data set, right, then majority of your numbers would start with the number one and then the number two and then the number three and then the number four. So if you have a large data set, you can run it through a program to give you a distribution of the numbers, right? And if it doesn't follow this, this pattern, then the data set is flawed, is wrong. I don't know if anyone's done it, 30% uh, for number one so 30% of the numbers are here right 30% let's say you had a data set let me write that so you can actually read it so this is 30% right 30% of the numbers are number one start with number one right so let's say you had a million data points right you punch it into your program and spits out what they start off with and it's pretty easy to do right what does a number start with if only 10% of the numbers in your million data sets start with the number one the odds are that data set is flawed so 30 18 13 10 so 30 18 13 10 and we'll call this frequency percent of the numbers right and if you add up all these guys they should add up to a hundred percent right so 100 would be like way up there in the thing right so this would be 30 and my 18 here should be way down here so my distribution was pretty pretty accurate right incredible now governments are using this to find tax cheats right? yeah I wake up within minutes of my alarm every day and I can tell when five minutes has passed within a few seconds our back background brain stuff is nuts insane right it's super cool super cool <laughs> I need a mark reply no I, I didn't I haven't gone to I went in once during this whole lockdown pandemic thing to go buy markers and I used them all up I have these ones as well let me see if these ones show up with you guys I bought these ones these ones are thinner if these ones work you guys tell me here let's see how this this turns out um, <laughs> what do we do I don't know let's write a function f of x 
Is that come out okay? That comes out okay. f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's insane actually. Wait, what? Da, da, da. Unless it's BBC presentation. Uh, like if you take the length of all the rivers in the world, 30% start with a one. Sizes of lakes. That's insane. It's crazy. I mean, this is proof one that there is to a certain degree, if people wanted to use it, proof one that there's some kind of mathematical code behind reality, right? It's super cool. How does this come out? Is this come out okay? X plus two, X plus three. Yeah, that comes out okay, right? Can we use these pens? I bought these ones too. I can see it just fine. Okay. Oh, look at this. You got a whole stack of these ones. Nice. Nice. I got ones that are two sided too. Let's check out the two sided ones. Let's check out this one. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That's great. Nice, nice. That's okay too. Okay, cool. Nice. Yep. We're going to the new versions of pens. Nice, nice. Good to know. Good to know. That'll last us for a couple more live streams. Good pen. Good pen. Good pen. Cheryl, how are you doing? <laughs> Gang, should we call the stream? Should we say a stream? Good math today. I liked it. Fun. I hope uh, whoever was asking the questions will help you out. Um, I hope. Uh, and at some point, we'll. By the way, I've started doing uh, calculus with a student of mine and loving it. So I'm reviewing my calculus. So slowly, calculus questions, limits, and stuff are going to become game as well for these live streams. I'll let you know. Or not let you know. Feel free to ask calculus questions, and if we can help out, uh, we will. Okay, uh, from my end, glad I got to catch you for a little bit. Been watching you on YouTube for years, but have yet to catch a stream. Awesome, glad to have you here, Rummy Kid. Actually, because one comes first, so of course, there will be more ones. I, I don't know if it's an of course, uh, 001. I don't know if it's of course, right. But why though? All right. And your name, your number comes first, 001. <laughs> but gang, thank you for being here. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Uh, I know why. From memory. Interesting. Think about it. Yeah. I can read the wiki. Yeah. Yeah. Gang, uh, as well, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Uh, apologies if I didn't catch. I didn't catch most of them um, just because I'm on my train of thought I want to make sure th things connect up properly uh, I do appreciate them a lot uh, thank you for the tier one subs thank you for the prime subs and thank you for the follows and the conversations and the questions and the interaction uh, it's fantastic uh, a great great thing to participate in and it's because of you that we are able to do this right as far as uh, who I am, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to follow this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share, share, like. And for those of you who've been supporting this work through Patreon, thank you for the support. Thank you very much for the support. We are live streaming on Twitch. If you want to participate in the chat, that's going on here. Twitch is where you want to be at. And again, mods, thank you for taking care of business. Thank you for being here. And gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. And thank you for the bits. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live for scheduled live streams on LO Minds, VK Parlor, Gab, and Twitter. And just a few minutes for unscheduled live streams, which we might do tomorrow morning. Okay, we need to do part three of the reading of Salvinorn, the psychedelic essence of Salvia Divinorum by Dean Turner. I'm hoping to get it in tomorrow morning. Okay, and you can follow the work there and go to our 
Twitch page in the chat, just type in social and all the links will pop up. And the links will be in the description of this video. For live streams where we do open discussion where we don't have any visuals, we will be recording on a lapel mic and uploading that to SoundCloud and that should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. Okay. And we will be uploading this video to both YouTube and BitChute. And you can support this work by subscribing, following, liking, sharing. And if you're on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. And for those of you who are supporting this work through YouTube membership, thank you for the support. Appreciate it a lot. And it is because of all the support we're getting on all these different platforms, sort of decentralized ourselves, that we're able to continue this work and uh, slowly upgrade and do more and include more into our repertoire right and gang we got another 10 live streams set up for the next week and a half okay tomorrow we're probably going to do an unscheduled live stream reading a book saturday we're doing a liqueur live stream sunday we're doing a cooking session in the kitchen I believe we're doing politics on Monday. I believe we're doing personal finance on Tuesday and a whole bunch more. Okay. Uh, and there's going to be comic book readings. We're going to do two days of comic book readings on uh, October 30th and 31st. And then we're going to hit up Julian Assange, two days of Julian Assange the following week, right? And catch up with some important information. Aside from that, gang, thank you for being here. And I'll see you guys, uh, if not tomorrow, Saturday for sure. Bye, gang. What was the Mongolian girl going on? Oh my god. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye everyone.